I'm Sergeant Mitchell with the U.S. Army Medical Department Recruiting. I am your healthcare recruiter. Today we're going to be talking about some errors that we've seen uh, in the CV and CV submittals. Just a reminder, you are applying for a position with the United States Army Medical Department. With that being said, we do not have endless uh, positions and many of the positions are less than 10, 15 spots that, that's available nationwide. So you have to be very uh, prepared, extremely prepared on competing for these spots. So within your, around your first step of starting this phase, you're gonna get something <clears throat> called the CV. Um, submitting your CV, you have to make sure that all information is present, okay? Do not uh, decide that, oh, I'm not going to give that information. Why? Because I don't want to. It doesn't make any sense. And it's, one is not professional. So these are some common errors that we see in the Medical Service Corps. Um, those errors consist of missing dates on the resume, missing prior service documentation, evaluations, your DD-214s, your NGB-22s, E's, um, and for the 70, 73 Bob Bravos, and you're missing your AP accredited, accredited internship complete in, completion certification or letter from the internship site. Make sure you have that stuff. If you're, if you give your CV to your recruiter and you are missing that information, it's only going to prolong uh, the process and you could miss a board date. All right, be prepared, be prepared, get these documents ready. You have to be professional. All right, you are applying for a job. It's not like our counterparts who go out there and recruit for high school students. You, we are recruiting for officers in the United States Army. That, that's top dollar, okay? And it comes with a lot of qualifications and licensures. So be prepared. Make sure all your documentations are in order. We also get transcripts that are unreadable due to bad scans. If you can't read it, we can't read it, and therefore that is a no-go, all right? We are uh, for the license, the license verification from all states in which you held a license. Now your recruiter will do your license verification, but make sure you provide all your licenses that you have ever held, all states. We gotta do a license verification. If you decide to omit one, then you are deciding to prolong this process. Don't do that. Do not do that, okay? Let's come well prepared. That is why I do these videos, to make sure you guys are able to compete because I'm giving you all the knowledge and all the requirements necessary in order for you to gain a commission in the United States Army in whatever area of concentration that you decide to go into, all right? Now for the 72 Deltas, the 72 Deltas on November 4, those are, I don't want to misread, is my environmental um, science and engineer officers. Uh, we have applicants submitting um, stuff that doesn't have the correct degree type for uh, the job that you are applying for, that's area of concentration, or your additional skill identifier, that would be that November 4 piece. I will go into detail later on the 72 Delta um, video that I'll be posting a little bit after this video. Now for our foreign degrees, make sure you submit an evaluation of that degree. So the foreign degree submitted without evaluations completed by the following entities such as the Foundation of International Service, the FIS, the World Education Services, WES, and the International Education Evaluation, IEE, or Council on Social Work Education International Social Work Degree Evaluation Services. Make sure if you have a foreign degree that is that it has been evaluated by the services just mentioned. If you have not got that foreign degree evaluated, is going to be another no-go at this station. All right, make sure you do that. Make sure you come prepared. All right, I told you, 
I'm going to keep you updated, well informed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. See it? Subscribe. Hit the button. You're subscribed. Best wishes to you on your journey, all right? I am Sergeant Mitchell, your healthcare recruiter.